compost a kitchen waste. So uh, why do we have to do this? Because uh, the maximum number of waste that goes out from a house is from the kitchen peels and the vegetable peels and waste from the kitchen. So once we start composting at home, there is so much more less that goes into landfills. So uh, this is an easy method to reduce landfills uh, out here. Okay, now to start with our compost, uh, uh, we need uh, any con we can take any container. So uh, any container, we need to use these bowls. Now here for this purpose, we've taken a terracotta pot where we've punched some holes. Now these holes will uh, allow oxygen to come inside, so the compost becomes this thing. So we have a hole in, at the bottom, and then we have punched about five holes out here. So you can take up any uh, pot like this. There are uh, kambas which comes with ready-made uh, holes and then you can also use any recycled uh, paint, uh, plastic boxes or anything or any size big containers, punch some hole and then we can start composting in that. Okay. Now what else we do we need for composting is uh, these, your kitchen peels and your kitchen waste. In this you can see we have the kitchen uh, uh, vegetable peels, Okay, we have some fruit peels and then we have uh, coffee powder here we can ha add some eggshells and all these can go into a compost even paper these will also uh, compost so paper can be used so these is this bag that we have here all these are these are the source of nitrogen okay uh, nitrogen plus what we also need to add is the carbon uh, part of it now this is dry leaves that we have here so what happens during the compost the science behind composting is when we add this nitrogen and uh, this carbon with air we get a fresh compost which we call as which we have here so this is the output this is how you will have nice earthen uh, compost from your peel so these have got transformed into something like this this is a very high source of nutrition for nutrition for all your uh, plants so you should be probably uh, be able to do your uh, small terrace garden. Once you start composting, then you can use this and you can plant uh, vegetables and you can have some organic vegetables at home. So these are the basics that we need for compost. So we have this container with the holes punched for oxygen and we have a nitrogen source, we have a carbon source. So what we are going to do now is add some paper down. Uh, because we have some holes here and we, uh, whatever the water that we there from all your peels this will come to the bottom of the pot so we're going to tear some paper right here and then add it down okay to the base of this pot and uh, so some paper just to the bottom and to this we are going to add all our peels and all our waste Now to this, you have seen that we have added all the mixture that we had, all the source of nitrogen we have added here. Now to move on to the next source which is the carbon source. Now we are going to add these dry leaves. So uh, every day when you add little bit of greens, do add these browns because these browns will dry, uh, dry your pot and this is going to convert your uh, kitchen waste into an organic manure. Okay. Now we can use... Uh, any, you can use any stick uh, or uh, any uh, tool to churn them every day. That is what you're supposed to do. You churn them so that it, it mixes well and then it composts well. Okay, so now, okay, so I'm churning this whole mixture so that the browns and the greens mix well. This browns will allow these greens to dry up, and then every day when you add uh, uh, this in, in this proportion, when you add to this mixture of greens and it is going to start composting now to bring in some enzymes and to uh, strengthen your compost we can we could also add some buttermilk because these uh, this buttermilk a little portion of it like if you add them and then give a good turn
and we could also and even this like buttermilk you can add you can also add some fun compost which you have done earlier or what you get in the stores now this organic compost a little bit of this if you add this will also start the composting process so this will act as a source to start the composting process so i'm adding uh, a little bit of that as well and there i'm done with this so post this exercise what we should do is uh, if, if it is a drum you could just place it in one corner of your balcony or you can even place it in one corner in your kitchen uh, if, we, if you want to place some pot like this probably use now we have used a tire or we have recycled like we have used an old tire to place our pot and then we need to close this with any lid you can use a uh, uh, old pay, a plate or anything so we are using a matka uh, top to close this now this this is ready and it is going to start composting this will take about 45 to 60 days uh, depending upon that within 60 days you will have an output as, as good as this and this is a very very healthy source again for your uh, garden and this is uh, if this will smell like if you this smells like raw earth so the same whatever ingredients have gone in there has has been coming out as this as in 60 days so this is this has a very very good smell and uh, very very healthy uh, for your plants okay now you will be wondering if this is going to smell and uh, what if you know there is a lot of flies or ants or you know all these maggots and fruit flies and things like that when it starts coming into the house yes the, you you if, if the mixture is too wet then such issues might come up so what you should do is you should find the right balance between the brown and the green so you will know as you keep adding that uh, how it is drying up so if you if you feel you are moist i mean it is too moist and if you if you feel the compost is too soggy then add more browns to it and then as a troubleshooting you can also add turmeric or chili powder a little bit to avoid these fruit flies and uh, uh, maggots into this so it, it is a right balance now how do we place like what we do is we have three pots so we start filling on the uh, pot on the top once that pot gets filled totally we push that down and then we place like this now this is a pot which is already filled so we have this at the bottom and then we have one on top now we can add up to three pots so that uh, for between 60 days you can use just keep using these three pots uh, uh, again and again now once so it, it again depends upon uh, each one's convenience and uh, if you if you are a big family and you feel these pots are not enough you can use big big drums have two or three drums and do it like that now or if you are uh, a small family where your kitchen base is much less so you could stack up three and then keep using one by one and don't forget you have to churn all the uh, once the pot gets over and it, it's put down just remember to churn all of it, not just the one that you are adding on top. Keep churning the ones which have gone down as well. Once you start composting, uh, each of you will understand how easy it is. It will just take you about 5 minutes in a day, probably just to give a churn add. Mix your brown and green, then give it a churn and that's it. So you know that once it starts composting, it's very easy. You are going to realize how much of waste you are going to reduce into uh, throwing outside. So when we started it, we realized that every day we used to throw some packet, one packet or two packets outside. Now we hardly throw anything, nothing goes out of the house. So it's a very, very nice feeling once you start composting, you will never want to leave it. So do start composting. Do start doing this at your houses and if you have any issues, do write to us. We are there to help and we are there to support. We want to take this message to a lot of more people and that's why we did this video for you. So, I'm sure after this you're going to start composting. Please do start today.